Hello everyone, uh, here Gabe again with a, another toy review. This um, it's the last of the toys that I have, well, f uh, for reviews for right now until I, unless of course, you know, I run across another one or my, or, you know, get a request for one or you just sent one. Anyway, um, this right here we're looking at is Thrust. And this one is not from Warren Cybertron, like, uh, the majority of the ones that I've done so far. Uh, he is actually from the Bumblebee movie. Yes, this uh, Thrust was actually the Decepticon that uh, sort of went at Bumblebee when Bumblebee first arrived on Earth. And yeah, there was that whole exchange where he was, you know, asking him where the other Autobots were like, Did you really think you could hide? And then Bumblebee was like, I'll never talk. And Thrust says, Is that right? Let's make it official. Yeah, and then that was how Bumblebee lost his voice there. So, anywho. Um, so, yeah, Thrust uh, is a fire plane here. Um, as you can see, he's got the little undercarriage here. Uh, part of which, that's what's kind of making him stand a little bit there. And also, I think it sort of resembles uh, how in the movie he had a uh, sort of a missile that came out there and everything. So, um, yeah, you got this going on here. Um, yep, uh, doesn't look too bad, all the way, or, all things considered from all the way around there. Uh, pretty good plane mode here, pretty decent. Um, undercarriage, um, not so bad. Um, henceforth, the little stand thing, but yeah, other than that, not really, not really all that bad there. Um, got these little attachments on his wings here. You have to make sure they stay in there because sometimes they will fall out. Yeah, uh, yeah, like I say, oh, excuse me. Yeah, sometimes yeah, sometime it's possible for him to stand on this thing, but it's not a completely guaranteed thing. I feel like he's standing right now. Okay, so, um, well, not much else there. Uh, let's get him transformed, shall we? And, uh, you gotta bear with me on this one. This, I just trans because he came in the package. Um, a lot of them, for some reason, are coming out of the package in robot mode first, and you have to change them either to their vehicle form or with the Maximals and Predacons to their beast forms. Uh, I really miss the days when these when these Transformers came packaged. Um, in my case, because I was collecting Beast Wars Transformers uh, when I first started getting Transformers as a kid, it was the Beast Wars line. And I, I miss the days when they would come in their beast mode and I had to change them to robot mode for the first time. So in this case, uh, <clears throat> took me a while to get him in plane mode earlier, a couple of days ago. So now, this is gonna be my, excuse me, first time changing him into robot mode. So what you wanna do first, uh, you can deattach that. Um, well, the bear with me. There's a lot of little twists and turns on this one, because he is, as as Shaq would say, he's he's a complicated man. Guess no one understands him but his woman. <laughs> Don't know who thrust his woman would be. <laughs> All right, so uh, first, want to open that up there. Open it up. Oh, uh, that's gonna that's now re revealing what's gonna become his robot mode legs there. Kind of bring that out there. Let's see. Uh, it's kind of a matter of bringing stuff out. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so bring his arms out. Hold that. Like that. Hold. Like so. Oh boy. This was the tricky, this was kind of the tricky part. Uh, let's see, you can bring those in, I think. Let's see, you're gonna, gonna put, 
I want to say bring that one. Let's kind of put these small pieces. Hope, as a matter of fact, I'm going to bring these small pieces behind me so they won't fall off the table. So I'm not in a very good position to be trying to reach down there, if you know what I mean. Okay, so, oh, yeah. You got to take this. Now, I do remember this. Uh, sort of trying to remember it in reverse. <laughs> and we're gonna, yeah, tuck all that in the leg. Uh, same with the other. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, looks like, uh, okay, I saw a little something flying around. I think I said. I think that's that little beetle. That's, that explains all the noise. I don't think I'm y'all probably I don't know if y'all could hear it, but yeah, I kind of could hear a little bee. I mean, not be. <laughs> oh Lord, no, not a bee. Um, a little beetle, kind of flying around here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> I really kind of wish they would stay outside, but at least at least something like a beetle or a moth. So yeah, it's not um too too bad yeah they yeah because they're not gonna sting me or anything there okay i think i may have, oh okay here we go okay so this side was a little different from the other um now we got the legs here the legs all out like they're supposed to be and now this is where the tricky part comes in because the Gotta get the gotta get the top uh, in place here. Um, what you want to do is fold this because I, I remember this part going in. Let's see. Oh boy, there's some kind of way that okay, okay. So I had to kind of cut away in order to figure this part of it out, but. Turns out what you're supposed to do is take this piece that was attached, that was attached to it like this here. Well, I think it was attached like that. But you're supposed to take this, you're supposed to take that off and fold, and see these little flaps here, uh, fold them back so you can bring that down and then put them back, close them back. Yep, and then of course you bring that part down with the robot mode head attached, sort of giving him that similar look how he looked in the movie. Bring out his uh, robot mode hand like that. Yeah, it's hopefully I remember this when I'm you know just transforming him other times, you know, and I'm kind of, you know, play with some of them and everything. Um, then as for the wings, um, the wings actually were able to kind of compact themselves a little bit. Um, let's see, kind of, kind of like that there. Oh, let me, uh, bring, let me bring it up so y'all can see it there. Okay, sorry about that. But yeah, you can fold it up and put it like that. Uh, let me show you with the other wing. You uh, fold it away, turn it around. There you go. Like that. And there you have them. Uh, you have thrusts in the robot mode there. At least I. Okay, yeah, he's, yeah. You have thrust in his robot mode, yep. Not, not too, not too shabby. Uh, yeah, once you, um, once you kind of get used to the transformation and everything, it's, um, yeah, it's not so bad once you get used to it. Um, and I think this kind of becomes somewhat of a weapon for him. Uh, I think sort of, I think it's supposed to be like what he used to uh, take away Bumblebee's voice in the movie. Uh, let's see, attach it. 
Because maybe it goes kind of like that there. Or maybe, oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. So yeah, sort of a, is that right? Let's make it official. <laughs> yep, so you got that going there. And, uh, don't see where any of his uh, other weapons are. Oh, that's right. Uh, you do have these. Uh... Oh, there are... oh, he does have some other weapons. Okay. <laughs> okay, there's this piece that um, detached from him. Uh, it was attached to the bot to the bottom of his stand in uh, plane mode there, so uh, you can attach this to the other arm. Just gotta keep that hand out so it can uh, catch on. And I think what you want to do is it's an area, it's some kind of way you can attach it there. If I can, uh, hope I'm doing this right here. Let me take, hold on, let me take a look. Do, 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 do. I am learning this for the, ah, here we go. Okay, so it goes in his hand. Okay. Right here in his hand, like that. Um, it's, like, you have to keep the hand out for it to stay in there. Uh, this way he can do his little firing action here pretty neat there and these right here don't they don't really attach in his hand because for one thing they don't stay on but I think they're just parts of him and his plane mode basically uh, so they just you just pop them back on his wings um, you could try to put them in his hand as extra weapons but they're not gonna too, do too good of a job staying I have tried that um, matter of fact, they are, matter of fact, you kind of have to make sure you keep an eye on, um, attached back here, because they are kind of loose on the wings, and, uh, they will fall out. I, because of the, uh, well, I mean, if in the plane mode, like, is he, these things would be useful, uh, for missile, you know, to, you know, like, plane firing his lasers and, and missiles and stuff, but, yeah, in the robot mode, it's it's kind of a hindrance there because uh, you're trying to make sure they don't fall off. But other than that, other than that, yeah, he looks pretty good. Um, I don't think he was green on the Bumblebee movie. Um, maybe I might be uh, have to rewatch that because it's been a while since I've seen the Bumblebee movie. I uh, have to rewatch that. Uh, but yeah, I'm not for sure about the whole green thing he had going on. Maybe, maybe he actually was. Um, it's, it's not so, I'm not saying I don't, that, I'm not saying that it's bad or anything, I mean, I'm bad or anything, but I just, I'm just not sure if that's what it was in the show, but, but even if it isn't, um, uh, still looks pretty good. So, um, articulation wise, he can, uh, move his arms all the way, well, except for, about as, about as far back because of the wings, uh, he can move his, uh, Legs, uh, do a little kick. Uh, has neat joints. He can turn his head upside down, but it's really—I mean, his head side to uh, side to side. But it's really—it's really hard to turn his head because of that little piece that is attached to him there. And I don't think he has. Um, well, he can do that, but that's about the best he can do as far as waist articulation. Yep. Other than that, he's. Uh, other than that, um, not too bad. Not too bad. Decepticon thrusts. Um, not not too bad there. Um, I guess another, the only other nitpick I would say is maybe the formation of the head to the robot uh, mode, um, chest and everything. Um, it's so it is uh, pretty. It looks pretty show accurate. Um, like I say, not sure about the green paint, but it looks pretty show accurate, all things considered. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, just maybe kind of, 
kind of went maybe, and this could it could be looking like this in the show. I have to watch the movie again, but if it if it it might it's a possibility it might look a little slightly different from the head and chest areas. But other than that, it's all good though. So that's uh, my toy review of Thrust. And uh, y'all want any other toys reviewed? Just leave it in the comment section. Or definitely um, ma send the mail to my uh, P.O. box in the description box uh, of what toy you want me to review. And also, don't forget to support us on Patreon. Take care.